So it's very spontaneous, you know. I don't have a some kind of a master plan. Uh, the the trilogy became uh, together one after the other one. I never really planned to to do that. So um, so what happens is that um, um, with the club, it would just put together some materials that we had from the past, and and then we thought it was an interesting thing to deal with. Um, but if there's anything that could probably you could connect with my work, I think it's the impunity. I think every a structure, social structure that has some kind of power involved, you would have people that is just uh, different to the other ones. Are we the same in front of the law? That's the question. And probably in this one, are we the same in front of the eyes of God? Um, and maybe this movie is about that. It's about, it's about the, the members of church they don't really believe that they should be judged in a regular courthouse. They should only be judged in front of the eyes of, eyes of God. So it's, it's about impunity and, and about religion, of course. Well, what happened is that humor is a very interesting way to say things. Otherwise, they would sound really preachy, you know? And, and humor, it's... It's, it's, it's probably the hardest thing to do, I would say. Um, but when you use that kind of humor, what actually happens that I think is fascinating is that you, you know, as an audience, sometimes you're laughing about something and then you're looking at it and you laugh and then you feel weird because maybe something that you shouldn't laugh about. Yeah. And then, then you sort of regret a little bit so it's a kind of a mechanic. So you have an active audience. You know, the audience is really, you know, going through the process, and 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 then what it is really doing is that it's questioning your own morality. You know, and and then something you're laughing about something that is it's not really funny. I mean, it could be, but if you really think about it, it's something that it could feel very weird. You know, and and but you laugh, and then you feel weird because you're laughing. So. It's, a, it's like an ethnic friction uh, on that space. And then at the same time, what happens is that it's, it's funny because, for example, when the, the, the victim is outside, you know, yelling out all this very graphic description, what is he's really doing also is that he's throwing out all this information, but the one that is really creating that image is you, the audience, in your head. If I would go and shoot that sort of, uh, you know, that sexual scene, for example, it would never be as violent as the one that you could imagine because there's nothing more violent than human mind. And I want to use that. If I would create it, I would just, you know, finish and determine what IMAG is like. That is like. And then if you kind of are able to create that IMAG in the audience's mind, then that IMAG will always be different and it would be accommodated to our own perspective. And, and I think it's very interesting and dangerous as well. You, you, if you're able to trigger something on the audience, then you're doing something that's worth it. That, that, that's, a, that's the kind of cinema that shows you everything. 